Hey everybody! I do not have a lot of time today, so we are just going to shoot a video feeding my New World tank here. We have mostly New World fish in this tank, but we do have a few from Africa. We do have a, a jewel cichlid in here somewhere, and we do have a spotted tilapia, which is at the far end of the tank at the moment. But the spotted tilapia is from West Africa, and I'm pretty sure the jewel cichlid is from Africa as well. And then everybody else is either a South American fish or has been uh, locally acquired. You can see right there in the middle of your tank that big sunfish. That is one I caught myself about a year and a half ago. It was a tiny, tiny little baby. I uh, caught it in a little dip net, and it is growing like a monster. So there's the little jewel cichlid in the bottom right-hand corner right now. And then, of course, we've got the silver dollars, and we've got some golden shiners in there. I have a white sucker fish on the bottom, and somewhere in there is a big uh, high fin spotted placostomus that I got from PetSmart. I'm going to throw some algae wafers in there now, and that might bring our uh, pleco out. And we also have a rainbow shark in there there's my jewel I mean my uh, spotted tilapia on the far right side of the video now and you can probably tell it's the algae wafers that the fish really like in this tank more so than the flake food by a long shot And if you'll notice down the bottom left-hand corner, we have a white sucker fish. That is another fish I caught locally here in the local stream. It's a couple inches long and about the diameter of a pencil when I got it. It's about eight and a half, nine inches long now. And about the diameter of a fat kielbasa. And I swear it does not matter how much of these algae wafers I throw in there that sunfish just keeps gobbling them up. I'm trying to get enough to go on the bottom that when the pleco comes out there will be algae wafers on the bottom for the pleco to eat. But it seems like the sunfish is going to gobble them all before they even hit. Now, I can see the pleco down on the far end of the tank now. It's kind of laying up in the rocks. I don't think it's going to be coming out and making an appearance in this video. But if you look on the bottom right-hand corner, you can see a little bit of my rainbow shark just kind of poking out from underneath that chunk of wood. Working its way out of that cave and then back into that cave. And I just saw a bunch of little sparkly silvery scales flashing through the water. So it looks like one of the silver dollars must have got scraped against something or one of the other fish scraped against it and knocked a bunch of scales loose. So that happens from time to time. The tank really is getting overcrowded as far as the amount of plants and the woodwork I've gotten there. The fish are starting to get really big. I'm still considering taking that piece of wood out of the tank it's just so big it takes up so much space i love it i think it's beautiful it looks amazing in there i love the way the fish interact with it and swim in and out of it but it just takes up so much space i'm really thinking i could do something pretty amazing uh with my pond out in the backyard using that piece of wood rather than leaving it here in the aquarium so i don't know i've thrown that idea out there a couple of times you can let me know what your thoughts on that are if you think that would be interesting to see that make its way out into the pond rather than have it still stay here in this tank it's been in there for a couple years now so i mean you know change is what is it a change is as good as a rest they say or something like that anyway changing things up from time to time uh is always good so maybe we'll we'll think about that so let me let me have your opinion on that what you think about maybe moving that uh huge piece of wood out there into uh the pond out back Otherwise, that looks like pretty much about the end of it. You can see that white sucker fish right there smack dead center on the bottom. Uh, but the middle of your screen on the bottom of the tank. 
That is the white sucker fish. That's another interesting looking fish. Not a lot of color in these native fish, but certainly a lot of interest in them. I always enjoy watching them. And you can see the two fish that are swimming off to the right hand side that look sort of shark like and they're kind of silvery but pretty large. Uh, those are the um, golden shiners. I know they look silvery, but when you get them in tannin stained water, they actually look like a beautiful coppery golden color. They're really, really pretty uh, when you see them in tannin stained water. You put them in clear water and they look like silver shiners. You put them in tannin stained water and they turn golden and so therefore they are actually golden shiners so that is about it for this video i can't think of any other thing to talk about with the tank or any other of the inhabitants in the tank uh, don't forget i do a live stream every friday night and sunday night at 8 p.m eastern time and i do a live stream every wednesday night for my members only if you want to uh, sign up for membership you get access to that so otherwise i'm going to say thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you real soon in the next one